Hello everyone. I hope everyone had a great day. This is Deanna from Deanna's Creations. Um, over the last few years I've been using um, the same uh, epoxy uh, resin for my painted pieces. Um, and I like it a lot. Um, however, I was contacted recently by Artistry Epoxy and they asked if I would like to try their product and I said that I would like to try their product. Um, so today I am going to test out the product they sent me, um, the Artistry Epoxy. This is the one-to-one uh, ratio and this is what I'll be using today but they also sent me a sample pack of uh, artistry epoxy fast set um, I don't know much about this I have not used uh, a fast set fast setting epoxy before um, so I will be trying this one later um, to see how I like it uh, but today I'm going to try out this one to one um, artistry epoxy uh, on a piece I'm working on. This is a small piece that I'm currently working on. Um, I had, before I knew I was getting this, I had already poured the base of this with the epoxy that I normally use. Um, and I painted, started painting the first layer of my background. Um, this is going to be a coral reef. Um, I still have several layers to go. Um, added in some little fish to the background. Um, but anyway, this is a, a small piece. I believe it measures about two and a half by three to four inches uh, long. So it's a small piece. So it's a good sample piece for me to try this epoxy on. So I am going to get started. I've got my measuring cups. Um, and I am going to... Try the product out. I'm always game to trying new product. Um, you know, it doesn't hurt to try new things because, uh, you know. I may like it better and I may not like it better. I don't know until I try it. So I've got my little measuring cup. This is uh, got little markings on it. Uh, so I use those markings to fill. I know really technically supposed to pour the two parts in separate containers, but I, I don't. I just measure it. Um, equally and do it all in the same container. I know there will be those that say I need to do it separately and mix and, and I'll just do it the way I normally do it. So. Anyway, almost got this equal amounts in my container. I like the little squeeze bottle this came in. That's that's convenient. Okay, I've got my two parts here. I've got my popsicle stick. And I am just going to get this stirred up. Typically about three minutes or until it turns clear. Um, I used to time myself when I was mixing my resin, if I'm doing small amounts, I typically don't time. I just kind of look at it uh, when it starts turning clear and I don't see the little swirls in the resin. Always make sure that you're scraping the sides. One thing I've noticed um, real quick, there's not a strong odor. In fact, I don't want to put this up to my face, of course, because I'm not going to do that. But uh, 
I don't smell anything. I don't, um, this says it's a thick epoxy. Uh, it's mixing really nicely. Um, I've got some air bubbles, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm, since I'm pouring just a thin layer, I'll be able to get the, uh, bubbles out with my heat gun. Um, I do use a heat gun. Some people use, like to use a torch, uh, with their resin. I personally, I prefer just to use my heat gun. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Mixed up nicely. Um, I'll be doing another video after this cures uh, of my next layer of painting and then um, and the continual layers that I add to it using the artistry epoxy. That way you can kind of see how it works right along with me. So we're learning together. Anyway, I'm going to pour this in here. And I'm just doing a thin layer. And I've got a little extra left over, but I've got, I can use that on something. And I'm using my popsicle stick to very carefully spread this out. When I do my layers, I don't like to get get the layers too thick in between um, sometimes there's a need for me to go a little bit thicker but for the most part I, I try to do about um, an eighth of an inch thick in between layers uh, it just really depends on what I'm working on sometimes I have to, I do have to go a little bit thicker I like the way this um, is moving around nicely. I'm add a little bit more of the resin. Not a lot, just a, a dab. I've got that in there. You can see. Turn this around so you can see. That's what it looks like. I'm going to tape my heat gun. It's going to be a little bit loud, guys, so please bear with me. I'm going to move this off to the side. So far, so good. The bubbles popped. Just gonna, since I heated that up, it's. A, and I had it tilted a little bit. I want to make sure that it's, it's even all the way around. I like to take my popsicle stick and just run it right up at the edge because sometimes the little air bubbles will get right there on the edge. Which doing an underwater scene, um, the air bubbles. It's not a huge issue um, for me it isn't I mean especially if I've got using some colorant uh, for my back background like I did on this one but anyway that's what it looks like with the second layer or with a layer of the artistry epoxy again tomorrow I'll do another view to kind of give you my thoughts on what it feels like how uh, hard it cured um, and then I'll be painting another layer and I'll wait and paint the layer um, so you can kind of see my technique a little bit of how I paint uh, between the layers of resin. Anyway, 
Um, so anyway, it's artistry epoxy, um, and we'll just see how it goes the rest of uh, with the rest of this project. Thank you for joining me, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.